Alright CAD fans, in this video we'll put the finishing touches on the drawing and uh, get it ready to print. So, I made another layer called Road, made it light blue. That's just so we got another way to separate that out. Let's uh, draw the road is along the west side. It's 20 feet in, uh, from the boundary and 24 feet wide. So let's just do a line. Draw a line from that corner to that corner. Hit enter. And then do a move. Modify move. See if we can get all of that. Select objects. Enter. Where do we want to go from? From there. Over 20 feet, right? So let's just type in 20. And there's the edge of the road. Then we can use the copy to make one more copy of that. We'll just start from the edge here and go 24 feet. And there's our road, essentially. So we'll want to put a text label on that as well. So let's switch to the text layer and draw in. I don't know what, about what that angle is. I guess it was like 12 degrees the other way, wasn't it? Well, we'll just rotate it in once we get it. So, draw some text. Single line text. Should be good. And at zero, let's type in 100 Ocean half. In a couple times to get out of that. Looks like we're into the spinning ball of death. Okay, we got it. Now we'll use the modify tool to rotate that. Enter. Rotate about about there. And we'll spin it around a little bit. See if we can get it pretty close to lined up to that. There we go. And maybe move it over just a little bit to make it look right. Select object, enter. Move over just a little bit. So it's kind of in the center of the road. And hey, that looks pretty good. Now let's go over to the layout mode. And it looks pretty good here. Let's. Uh, Click on this once and look at the scale. Probably something like 1 to 30 is going to be fine since we're we're dealing in feet in this drawing. So I guess 1 to 30 will work. And then we should insert a uh, block, our title block, right? Looks like I still got it there. And oh, that's pretty darn small, isn't it? See our... Uh, since we're working in feet as our insertion scale, we may have to scale that up. So let's try it again. Block, inches, factor, okay. So it's got something going on here. Let's scale it, put a factor of 12 on it, see how that looks like. And we'll go from feet to inches. That looks pretty good, doesn't it? So there's that. I remember when we're dealing with these blocks we can move the corners over out of the way and remember if you double click in here see how that flips the top 2d wireframe we're reaching through into model space and we can edit in that so you want if you want to put text and stuff in this in the paper space you want to double click back over outside of it so we can put titles in and stuff but for outside of that uh, other model space, we're probably going to have to make up another textile. Oh, no, they came through with the uh, with the uh, block, so there it is. Let's set the, set the eighth inch, and we should be able to type right in here. Draw text, single line, zero angle, 101 Ocean Avenue, Lot layout. Got 
that. Let's also put in the uh, buildable lot area. So we'll just do the text again. Right there. Buildable lot area equals I say 58, I wrote it down here, 58 square feet. Let's take a look at this now, zoom extents. This really isn't a structural drawing anymore though, is it? It's probably more like a civil, so let's... I see this flashing around a lot with my mouse. I don't know what's going on here. There's the mouse, okay. I get it to go on, and we double click, and that'll bring up the block editor, and then I can edit that block, called C101 for civil, and then I'm not sure how I do this on the Mac, but there must be something in the menus where you can close the block editor, save the changes, and it edits your block as it sits. So I think that pretty much completes the drawing. We could always put the scale and stuff in, but you guys know how to do that. So I think we'll call it good.